Good morning. Let us all stand and take a moment to acknowledge each other's presence so that we celebrate as one community, one family of the faithful. And let's gather our thoughts and open our hearts to encounter the real presence of our Lord Jesus in this celebration to whom we can bring all our intentions our prayers for those who are suffering and in desperate need. Let us remember to pray also for those who are in the front lines, risking their lives and caring for all those in most need. <coughs> Today we celebrate the Tuesday of the 22nd week in Ordinary Time. And we begin our celebration with our Entrance song, Glory and Praise to Our God. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. We, the daughters and sons of him who built the valleys and plains, praise the wonders our God has done in every heart that sings. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives light to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Gathered together to encounter truly our Lord Jesus in this celebration, let us open ourselves to his gift of his mercy, 
compassion, and forgiveness. You send your spirit into the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have visited your people. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Holy One of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. Among men, who knows what pertains to the man except his spirit that is within? Similarly, no one knows what pertains to God except the Spirit of God. We have not received the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit who is from God so that we may understand the things freely given us by God. And we speak about them not with words taught by human wisdom, but the words taught by the Spirit, describing spiritual realities in spiritual terms. Now the natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God. For to him it is foolishness, and he cannot understand it, because it is judged spiritually. The one who is spiritual, however, can judge everything, but is not subject, subject to judgment by anyone. For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to counsel him? But we have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is just in all his ways. Make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is just in all his ways. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel 
according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught on their Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon and cried out in a loud voice, what have, you, what have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet. Come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed, and they said to one another, What is there about his word? For with authority and power he commands the unclean spirits, and they come out. And news of him spread everywhere in the surrounding regions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. When I was a little boy, one of my favorite books was a book called Tell Me Why. And of course, I liked the sequel, More Tell Me Why, and then the other sequel with an even more, enti more enticing title, Even More Tell Me Why. And of course, even though it was Tell Me Why, it was really about explaining to children how things work in the earth. And that's why I was so excited to hear, you know, the, the, the book would explain what happens when you t flip a light switch. How does that then turn into the fact that the light turns on? And so it, that scientific method was something that really intrigued me. Now, as, I, as I've grown older, it's funny how I'm talking with some people. Some people really struggle with the concept of the existence of God because God can't be proven just by a scientific method by human beings all alone. And so they, got, they start questioning, well, I can only prove what I can see. You know, it's, it can't be about what I can't see. And we hear that in the first reading that, says, that, that Paul said, natural man does not accept what pertains to the Spirit of God. For him, it is foolishness, and he can't understand. Without God's help, without us being open to the Spirit in us, we cannot understand what we cannot see. Of course, I love to have fun with some of those people who say they can only believe what they can see, therefore they can't believe in God, because then I'll say is, so do you believe in ultraviolet light? And they, they kind of look at you strangely, and I go, well, think of every sunburn you've ever got. You never see the ultraviolet light, but you know the effect is there from receiving the sunlight. Or, um, or you know when you press buttons on your phone that the message will suddenly magically be sent over invisible radio waves. And then, then we can explore and say, well, yeah, we can understand things we can't see because we can see their effect. And in many ways, that is the relationship that I have with God. Yes, I can't see God. But throughout my life, in many different ways, I have very much felt the effect of God's Spirit. And that is, to me, how God becomes real, is that spirit that we, re, re, that we, um, un, that we um, can feel. And it was St. Paul that said that we, only when we're open to that spirit, that we can understand. St. Paul says, we speak about God, not with words taught by human wisdom, but with the words taught by God's spirit. And it is through that spirit that we recognize God, who God is. And it's interesting that it's not just about knowing that God exists, but it's having an understanding and accepting that effect. After all, the unclean demon in today's gospel very much knew about who God was and that God exists. Recognized Jesus as the Holy One of God and yet his only concern was, have you come to destroy me? It was not about trying to develop that relationship. 
And so when Jesus was teaching, they recognized something very special in his teaching. Even before he had dealt with this unclean demon, the crowds were saying, were astonished at the teaching of Jesus because he spoke with authority. He spoke from his personal experience. It was not speaking about who God was and explaining God in an abstract theological way, which is very important, but understanding who God was personally. And that's why the crowds were astonished that Jesus was explaining and teaching the ways of God from that personal experience. You and I are called in the same way to share our experiences how God has touched each one of us with others because that becomes the true, the real teaching and allows them to then open themselves up to recognize that God does exist and God's presence. Not just to, to try to figure it out like a tell me why book, but to experience it themselves. St. Paul asked, who has known the mind of the Lord as so to counsel him? And then Paul answers that question very succinctly. Each of us has the mind of Jesus if we're open to receive him. In a few moments in this liturgy, Jesus again becomes a part of us as we receive the Eucharist. And let us pray that we can continue to have that mind of Christ in us. And it's not just not about knowing all the facts about God, but actually knowing God. Through the gospel, our Lord Jesus Christ speaks to us with words of eternal authority and deeds of healing power. Through him, let us pray with confidence. Holy One of God, bless us. Holy One of God, bless us. That the church may continue to teach Christ's truth and combat the evils of our time. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy One of God, bless us. That world leaders may promote righteousness in their governments and be zealous in eradicating evils in societies they are sworn to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy One of God, bless us. That we may not grow idle in our prayer life so that the unclean spirits may not take over our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy One of God, bless us. That the sick and those who suffer may be freed from their bodily or spiritual afflictions. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy One of God, bless us. That the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Holy One of God, bless us. We lift up to the Lord the intentions we hold dear in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. We pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is being offered, the eternal repose of the souls of Victor Cura and Elvira Maggianto. We also lift up the intentions we have received, especially praying for the health and strength of Brian Carbonell, Jay Curry, the Anya family, and Paul, we lift up the intentions of Sarah Aquino, and we pray for the departed souls of Jason Carbonell and Gino Pangilinan. We remember, too, the prayers we have placed in the Ark of Prayer chest and those unspoken in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Holy, Holy One, One of God, God bless, bless us. Heavenly Father, we rejoice in your abundant love for us. Establish your authority within us and be our companion on the road of life 
we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, God. Bless the Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis uncheli et terra, gloria tua. O sana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine domini. O sana in excelsis. <coughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death O Lord until you come again until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Santiago de Compostela, and all your saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. On this day, we told his peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On this day, we told his peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called children of God Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness for theirs is the kingdom of heaven and we join those who are praying with us through live stream and later to the prayer for spiritual communion my Jesus, My Jesus, I believe, I believe that, that you are present in the, the most, most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray to our loving mother in Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, <clears throat> foot of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, <clears throat> power of God, to help Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is City of God. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep, a new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light, the Lord of our longing has captured the night. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing for the Lord, the light and our love has turned the night into day. Thank you very much for celebrating with us and worshiping with us. Let us continue to pray for each other throughout the day. Have a blessed day, everyone.